Right, welcome back. This is the South African Morning. So eight KwaZulu-Natal districts that reportedly achieved below 40% in the matric exams have been called to explain themselves. Now they've appeared before Education MEC, Kwasim Shengu, and the Education HOD. And the department has now come up with an intervention plan to help underperforming schools. So the MEC, Mshengu, joins us now to tell us more about this intervention. MEC, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. I think before we get into the intervention model that you have have introduced working alongside the HOD. Let's talk about what you have found to be the cause of, you know, some of these schools underperforming uh, within the province. Well, good morning to you and to, to the listeners, um, or rather the viewers. Well, it's a combination of factors um, which we have picked up um, from the accountability sessions that uh, we have had with two districts, uh, ranging from the shortage of teachers in the classroom in the classrooms um, the absence of direct support from uh, circuit managers right up to the head office and um, the community protests that have been disrupting teaching and learning um, as well as at times the behavior of educators a high rate of absenteeism um, leading into some subjects uh, really being not being passed by even a single learner so it's quite a combination of factors that uh, we have picked up and uh, we are from time to time trying to make sure that uh, we then refocus in ensuring that those things do not occur so that we are able to perform better uh, in the schools that uh, we have identified. Right. So, so through these accountability sessions, how are you then holding accountable, you know, the principal circuit managers and chief education specialists of school? Because I can understand you're trying to understand how these marks were obtained under their leadership. Well, let me first indicate that uh, these um, accountability sessions are part of the uh, the academic improvement plan for 2022, mm. which is anchored on four, 14 focus areas. So it's one of them, and uh, I'm involved in, 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 in it because there are schools that um, um, be performed below 40 percent. And I, I said to the to the exa I mean to the team that I would want to be directly involved in trying to help those schools. Uh, that uh, performed below 40 percent. Um, you would know that uh, in Wazul Natal, we have eradicated those schools that uh, performed at zero percent. Mm. But, but we are worried that there are schools that perform at least uh, below 40 percent and want to eliminate that category again. That is why I've decided to be much more directly involved in, in assisting those that perform below that. Uh, but what, what our, our view is that um, everyone must be accountable in the system. Um, from the principal, circuit manager, curriculum managers, uh, district directors, right up to the MEC uh, himself. So in these sessions, it's not in, it's not they don't become a sessions where we shout at each other and, and all of those things. Each and every principal rise and say, in my school, these are things that led us to, to perform under forty percent. Mm. And the district, I mean, the circuit manager immediately rise and say, this is what I did or this is what could not be done. And it goes up to the HOT because uh, we have realized that um, actually the ball was dropped in, in, in all levels um, uh, in totality. You, you will find that there are things that we could have done better at head office, mm -hmm. uh, but we did not do it. Uh, there are things that could have been done better at district level, but it was the, the, so such things were not done. So now we are saying that everybody must be account for the actions that he was supposed to take, but could not be taken. Um, and these accountability sessions will run throughout the year. Uh, every month now, I'm saying I need a report in these schools that performed above, I mean, below 40%, mm -hmm. to say things that uh, are contained in the academic improvement plan, are they being done? Are there challenges? How do we timelessly intervene in those challenges so that we don't find ourselves again with schools performing below 40%. All right. You mentioned earlier on, MEC, that this is all in a bid to assist matriculants. You have a, a little over nine months uh, before we get the you know, matric results for the class of 2022. What are you doing? What does assistance look like in terms of assisting teachers, learners themselves, principals, uh, because they have to make sure that the work is done, uh, the improvement and progress is seen daily. What does that help almost look like? In the plus nine months that you have left this year? We, we, we think that we're in a better uh, position this time around, um, given the fact that, firstly, all learners are back at school. Uh, we have sufficient number of educators in schools. Uh, curriculum coverage has really started in earnest. And uh, our target is that by the end of the third quarter, we must have completed uh, sufficiently the curriculum so that we allow 
educators and learners to focus on revision when 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 they when they get into into the final quarter uh, of the year so we're quite uh, comfortable that the system uh, is looking to be in better shape this time around but there are issues that uh, keep on coming from time to time which are disrupting us particularly the community protest um there is one school uh, in Winden, for example that has been closed for about four days now uh, yeah. there's literally no teaching and learning because of the community protest and things that are actually not within the purview of Department of Education. They are complaining about water, electricity, and those are things that are not in the, in, in the mandate of Department of Education. But they, they target schools uh, because they, they think that government will therefore um, move with speed if they close schools. Mm -hmm. uh, and our view is that, you know, if you close schools, we are, we are, we are, we are basically closing the future of your kids uh, because other kids continue to learn, they will, they will perform well, but your own kids uh, will not perform well because they are losing so much time. So we want to plead with the community to allow our space to build the future of these kids. If there are challenges, let's follow pro better process or protocols to, to, to deal with those challenges. But closing a school is not an option. Yeah. And I think there is a rise in case at end uh, of these incidences where community will demand something else and then they close the school and call for government to, to, to intervene. And the message is clear, as I'm saying, you close the schools, you are basically closing the future of your kids. All right, we'll leave it there. And I appreciate you speaking to us. MEC Kwasim Shengu, the MEC of the Department of uh, Basic Education out in Guazul Natal. Quite interesting uh, to have these accountability sessions and tracking progress uh, for the matriculants. Class of 2022, of course, hoping to benefit uh, Gareth uh, from this type of intervention. Mm. The MEC saying they, uh, they're hoping that, you know, from the principal, circuit manager, all the way to the top, to himself, his office, uh, how can they hold each other accountable instead of pointing fingers? Yeah, and this is the problem. We're going to then do the the usual run-of-the-mill pointing fingers at the end of the year when we ask why the metric results so bad. So the commitments last year, mm -hmm. uh, things need to change now. At least we've got a roadmap mm -hmm. uh, as mm -hmm. to what that mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. looks like mm -hmm. on the ground. So it's good. Of course, we're going to stay on top of that yeah. uh, for the metrics of this year. All the very best to you, by the way. We hope it's a different in set of interviews we do end of the year going congratulations, right. not what went wrong again. Right, right.